The World Health Organization is acknowledging what many scientists have been telling us for months, that COVID-19 may be floating indoors and spreading from you to me. Aerosol transmission is one of the modes of transmission that we have been concerned about since the beginning, um, particularly in healthcare settings. But in its latest description of how the virus spreads, the Global Health Agency said COVID-19 may have found new victims worldwide by lingering in the air in some closed settings, such as restaurants, nightclubs, places of worship, or places of work where people may be shouting, talking, or singing. What we've seen is that there are some outbreaks that have been reported in these closed indoor settings with poor ventilation where airborne transmission could, cannot be ruled out. This after hundreds of scientists urged the WHO to consider the evidence in an open letter. But in a longer scientific brief, the agency pointed out other modes of transmission like contaminated surfaces or when an infected person coughs or sneezes might also explain these outbreaks adding more research is urgently needed. We need a much better understanding of these particular settings and these outbreaks that are happening so that we could better understand how transmission is happening. While the evidence is not final, at least one infectious disease expert said this week it would follow the example of another deadly disease. We have some good examples back with SARS, which is a similar virus, where there were clear-cut examples of spread by aerosol. So although we don't think it's a major issue of spread, it's something that we can't completely rule out. The WHO is also changing its stance on a phenomenon it has long downplayed. It now says infected people can transmit the virus both when they have symptoms and when they don't have symptoms. But the agency maintained the extent of truly asymptomatic infection in the community remains unknown. Globally, the pandemic has touched nearly every country with more than 12 million cases and half a million deaths. So what kind of danger does a virus that may be floating indoors pose to our daily lives? The WHO says the way to fight the coronavirus remains the same. Wash your hands, physical distance, and wear a mask. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.